But there's definitely some very interesting conversions in this matchup. Uh, I hope you see some uh, reverse back here. Yeah, people like to joke, you know, coin flip, whatever, but uh, I would expect Narwhal to have a lot more experience in this matchup. Yeah. And, oh, you know, again, it's kind of like the matchup we saw before. One neutral win would be pretty devastating. Oh, and, uh, holding on to the ledge a little too long. I think he uh, did that on purpose. Yeah. Uh, he, didn't. he probably expected to get the up air, yeah. because, uh, but he just didn't <laughs> leave it back enough. Uh, Narl missed the up tilt, but he got him with the, the Harvey S smash control. We got a super broom fan. Uh, uh, trying to do it back to back, but not able to get the second hit. Uh, Madrush is not edge guarding. Um, he has to pretty good DI though. He's so only able to make it back before. Yeah. Um, but Madrush? Starting this one off pretty well. High percentage. Does it really matter? Well, I, it matters, but yeah. like it's not necessarily it, favorable in this matchup. It can still be like one neutral win on either side. Yeah, so you're right. And even with a back throw across the stage, Van Rush can still make it back. Narwhal opting for some interesting edge guards. Yeah, uh, it looks like he's pre they're both preferring to stay on stage instead of uh, going out there and challenging Falcons. And Falcons. Yeah, it's, Falcons is a lot more comfortable on stage. Very yeah. strong character on stage. Um, got some tricky stuff off stage, but not so much. Not enough. Though. Yeah. Shield break? Uh, yeah, she like. There we go. Wow. So let's see how it converts this. I like it. I like it. It's just gonna up air him across stage. Yeah. So not almost. He's going to the whole standard. Yeah. He's not. He's not messing around. Uh, especially in this matchup, you start going for like flashy, you know. Weird stuff, you're gonna pay. It's a tricky option for Mad Rush to still drop in there, but Narwhal was ready for it. Wow. Oh, a uh, great duck there. <laughs> it didn't exactly work in his favor, but uh, is. For, for that one thinking. small interaction. I think Duck is underrated in this matchup. Uh, duck is probably underrated for most characters. Obviously, yeah. Kirby the most, but. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Falcon yeah. Duck's pretty good. Uh, like, crouch canceling is something that uh, people have been exploring. Um, it's not as strong as uh, in Melee, but right. it's very, very useful. I, I think matches. it is as strong, if not stronger, than Melee, but I think what it is, it's a lot easier to do. Right? Yeah. 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 And it goes to uh, a, a ridiculous percent in Melee. Right. Well. Yeah. Enough about that other game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in this game, this game, in crouch this canceling game is, is very solid option. It's, Give it a try. It's at home. really strong, but it's pretty difficult to do yeah. consistently. Uh, I think eventually as we get better, this meta is still very under, under, underdeveloped yeah. technically and mentally. Um, I think that'll become a, a very, a much more common option. Oh! Oh wow. Yeah, see that's so, some of the trickery that Madrush will go for, but he didn't get the up air dub that he was looking for. It looks like they're both having a bit of fun here. Yeah, maybe. And uh, we see... Um, Narwhal is not uh, putting his shield low whenever he attacks on the platform, which uh, usually blocks the up smash follow up. Right. Um, I mean, that's a like a fairly simple tech that still isn't completely commonplace yet. It's yeah. a shield angling. Um, very important, but very underutilized. In there. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. and right where it matters one of them. Um, so Madrush opting for the second up smash. Um, I feel like when you catch someone teching on the platform, the Falcon's nair yeah. is a very good option, but we're not really seeing that because you can nair them into an up smash, and it's just more percentage and I feel like a better setup. Yeah, and it covers uh, the tech pretty well too. Yeah, it's just holding it out. Um, I think you're guaranteed to get a weak hit as so, long as you put it in the right spot. So we're looking at a very similar result, just flipped. Yeah, no, uh, Mad Rush is doing very well in the second game. Oh, uh, this is this is uh, <laughs> they think too low percentage. Oh, I wonder if Mad they Rush made it work. I wonder if Mad Rush knew that he was going to be able to get that down. Here. Yeah, um, uh, Mad Rush loves the Falcon Kick combo, um, but it didn't work there in the traditional sense. Yeah, uh, sometimes we will see players uh, they'll go for a combo that isn't to death. It's not guaranteed to kill, but so they can the usually read the follow-up of what it's expected to do yeah. after once they're out of pit time. And I think that's what we saw there. Yeah. Uh, that's a, I mean, with a lot of characters with Falcon, it's 
kind of like, you know, getting grabbed on purpose to, you know, get a back air or something. You can, you can met, quote, mess something up knowing that you're going to have a uh, better, op a good option afterwards. Yeah. Very, a safer option. Called him out with that down air. Um, Falcon does not have great options to beat oh, Azure's own down air. No, not at all. Um, Mad Rush, uh, Rush, he's doing much better. Yeah, than he's, he's finishing his punishes. And that's what it comes down to in this matchup. And, like, we haven't really seen, like, you know, they had a little bit of fun, but we've been seeing a lot of standard combos from yeah. both players. So they're, like, they're going for it. And even uh, their fun combos, they're usually finishing them. So right. So it's not like, you know. It's not know, like they're paying for it. Yeah. And Mad Rush is going to go for it again. Uh, why is for uh Okay, so that time rush. maybe. <laughs> wow. Maybe having a little fun and paying for it there. Yeah. But at the same time, like, sometimes the less optimal option is safer for that player. Yeah. You know, like a player maybe that's knows. Just what they're comfortable with. Yeah, exactly. Um, Narwhal taking that lead back, though. Yeah. I feel like that was like a once a set option. <laughs> oh, great job shielding. Oh, there's that there we talked it. about. Yeah. Um, but that was. Um, seeing Narwhal shield up smash in neutral is crazy. Like, the timing that that requires. Yeah. It's good reaction. Or just maybe a hard read. Either or. Uh, I think it is a great tech for Falcon, though. One of his best defensive options being that uh, up smash comes out frame four, I believe. Right. Follows the jump, uh, not able to finish, though. So. Oh, this is the second up smash. But setting himself up pretty well here. See if Mad Rush has some kind of tricky recovery. Ooh. Oh, wow, yeah. And he gets him with the forward air. And he had a nice fade on that forward air. Um, he just barely flips him. Hi, it's nice to see so many uh, Falcon players. We're seeing Falcon players very good at spacing forward air, which. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great option. This could, could be going to last stock here if Narwhal gets this edge yard. So, game three, last stock. Falcon dittos. Anything goes. And Mad Rush uses that invincibility Rod, well. Oh, Ooh. and he goes for the forward air. Wispy. Wispy. Trying to ruin Wispy. It. Ban this character. And this is going to be tough for Narwhal to make it back. Let's we'll see if uh, Mad Rush has the edge guard. And he oh, gets a back air. And Mad Rush with a big upset, taking down Lord Narwhal 2-1. to one. That, was a, that was a good set. Yeah. Falcon did those could be fun. I, I like <laughs>